Let's see if I can get in, okay? Right, 200 bars. I'll just take it easy. Yeah, the fence is certainly a lot better than last time. Okay, so far so good. I've pushed my head back to get a decent seal on my mask. And it's making my head cold. <laughs> I've not been diving for a few weeks. I've had a sore throat and a cold. So this is just going to be a shallow dive. Ease my way back into the water. Go and pick up some scallops. I'll get Stephen with me. Spring tides today, so we walked along the beach to give us less of a swim. And that was it, because I'm not too fit. I don't want to stress myself. So far, I've cleared my ears, no problem. Breathing's fine. Just working our way out to see if we get some scallops. Probably too shallow at the moment. I feel as if I've been more about my torch. So if eventually I touch my video light, it should be a lot easier to use now. The old problem is it's difficult to use one handy. I have to switch it on with the other hand. That's less bits to get tangled up. Okay, just get to 10 metres now. I just took the one camera today. Just didn't want to task load. It was probably the right decision. Still waiting for a first scallop. Here's a big common starfish. I think. It's got a, a clam or some sort. It protrudes its stomach out, it envelops the shell. Digests it outside the body. It always feels damp in here. This may be just a head compressing. The sea toad. Looks like Stephen's found some scalps, even though I'm not seeing any. Some dead man's fingers. The polyps are all retracted, so it just that smooth appearance rather than fluffy. A type of soft coral. You can see the bits there that are pops out. Oh, lost Stephen. Oh, there you are. Looking the wrong way. I can't just keep it all and stew it away. Still not found a scalp yet. <laughs> just taking it easy. There's no point in exerting myself. Yay! First scallop.
Small end of crab. There's a dead man's fingers with polyps out. Spiny starfish. Another sea toad. Oh, size of that. Hundred and fifty bars left. Swim along the cable at the moment. That's to get the other reef. A sponge here. See the the opening. Oh, a nice big scallop. This is on the reef now. A seven armed starfish. It's on the hunt for something. I pointed out the the other starfish with its stomach protruded. The seven armed starfish have an internal stomach. So they actually eat prey. Mostly brittle stars. So that's how they figured out what they eat by looking inside their stomach. I'd set a maximum depth for today of 10 metres. We're already at 14. <laughs> Getting a wee bit out of breath just now, so just take it easy. I think it's talking too much. Swimming along the reef. It's quite a small reef. Sun star. So, a horse muscle here. Oh, just closed. Actually, there's a few here. There's one there. I don't know if that's classified as a bed. Squat lobsters. Lots of them. All these. Spiny starfish. I see different colours. This one's got a orangey purple, I suppose. That one's buff and white. And that's the colour I expect. It's quite a big one. A 
I was trying to use this new computer, but too many numbers. Just very glad across the tide. Heading back in shallow. Nice big scallop. A couple of hermit crabs having a fight over a, a shell. Oh, yeah, size of that one. Beautiful. I think we'll get off scallops. I think that's just back onto the sandy stuff now. Before I just start heading in. Just a short dive today, it's 36 minutes. Steve has got 70 bar left. Computer said that it's demanding a safety stop. Oh, the computer says fine, on you go. Oh, there's a feature I can turn off. I've got 85 bars left. Again, early, and not leave it like the last time. I've been down to 17 bars. Which is fine, but turned out of the long surface swim. I thought we'd come along for all of this. Obviously not. Pretty much where we're in though. One fin off. Two fins off. You okay? I'm gonna get out.